We're going to do a to the point technical analysis on the zoomed in daily chart, what I'm watching, but I really want to start on the monthly chart and the weekly chart to really talk about timeline. How much longer? I mean, that's the question for me. I'm sitting here. I'm like, if, if Bitcoin's going to continue to the upside, altcoins as well, crypto markets in general, we're going to continue in this bull market. How much longer until it happens? And, you know, we've, we've dissected so much different data over probably the previous weeks that indicates that this consolidation that we're in right now is incredibly normal, whether that's on-chain metrics, whether that's previous cycles, the consolidation right around Bitcoin having, it is just textbook Bitcoin and it's happening right now. So I wanted to just dig into that a little bit. Right now we're at like 15 weeks of consolidation and I was like, you know what, why don't I go back and just look at how long did this last in previous cycles? And that really gives us a nice, a nice guide. So we'll, we'll look at that data and then we'll zoom in on the charts on the daily and just get an update of where we are. So hit the subscribe, hit the like. Let's jump into this video. It's not going to be a long video. I want to get right to it. So 15 weeks. This is a weekly chart. You can just see 15 candles, volatility, right? Upside, downside, upside, currently downside. And if you see here, and we're going to dig into the inverse head and shoulders that's setting up there, could be incredibly bullish. How much longer until, you know, we get a move? So let's look. I'm going to go all the way back, first off, to the re really the first, the first cycle. And let me zoom all the way out. 23 weeks. Just kind of choppy, sideways, trying to figure out what, when it's going to break out. 23 weeks. This was a 2012 halving. And you can just see volatility going into that halving, even to the downside, failing to break to the upside until 23 weeks. And then boom. There it is. And just to give you an idea, this really plays into the charts as well. From Bitcoin having to really that explosive move, we're looking at like 77 days or so. Now, let's go to the next cycle. And this is really just clear data. And I, I really like the consistency. It is another angle of consistency on the Bitcoin charts. So here we are, 2016 having 26 weeks of just, you know, no breakout. There's, it started with a big consolidation going into having. Look at that dip on Bitcoin. Price range wise, we're looking at an ultimate dip of like 40%. Imagine the volatility, Bitcoin failing to break all time highs, right? Towards that area of, you know, the 2013 all time highs. It's like making a break and then all of a sudden it's falling 40%. I'm sure so many people were just like, it's over. That was it. Double top, probably talking about double top over here. 26 weeks, right? Until Bitcoin really started to, to make the move. And at that time, it was through the Fibonacci retracement, the bull market doors. Now, if we look at the amount of days that it kind of took after Bitcoin having to, to make that power move, we're looking at, you know, something like 150 days or so. And then we go to last cycle. Now, last cycle, we bounced out of the COVID swing low kind of into having. So the timing of that was interesting. But even so, having hit and then it was kind of just, there was nothing meaningful happening. This, this was a nice move, of course. I mean, we're talking like 9,000 to around 12,000, but you can just see. Bitcoin wasn't even breaking this previous 2019 high, definitely wasn't breaking all-time high, and Bitcoin just was consolidating, and at that time, 25 weeks. So zoomed out, we have 25 weeks last cycle, and then the cycle before that, we have 26 weeks, the cycle before that, 23 weeks, and right now, Bitcoin's 15 weeks of consolidation at this moment. And not only that, it's only like 60 days, just over 60 days, two months, since the Bitcoin halving. So another angle of consistency for Bitcoin, just saying, you know what, Bitcoin's on pace and there could still be weeks of consolidation. And that means even downside, right? Because you can even just see like before this consolidation last cycle was over, you can just see a really ugly weekly candle there. And what I, re I really want to point out is this, and this is why I think there is an extreme case for potential downside that we should be prepared for. I'm not saying I think it's definitely going to happen, but if it were to happen, why I'm not too concerned and why it would happen. This is, this is the first cycle, and it's very clear on the charts. Bull market high to bear market low, the bull market doors, that green rectangle being broken before the halving. Bitcoin has been operating and moving quicker than any other cycle. If you notice all of this consolidation we're, we're, we're tracking and comparing right now, all of that consolidation is happening at all-time high area above the bull market doors. Notice previous cycles, this data I'm breaking down, it happened below the bull market doors last cycle, below the bull market doors the cycle before that. And if we look at all this cycle back here, even 
we can even put some bull market doors from that swing high to swing low. And you can just see all of that consolidation happening below those bull, bull market doors. Right now, Bitcoin, all this consolidation that's very similar previous cycles around having happening above. So there's room to the downside to test those bull market doors, that, that yellow rectangle, capitulate a little bit if it needs to. That would really, I think, just shake, shake people out that, that aren't really thinking they're going to be here long term anyway. Just insane opportunity. But there's room to the downside. But right now, incredibly on pace, say this lasts to 20, week, 20 weeks, 25 weeks. We're looking at five to 10 more weeks potentially of, of this choppiness. Maybe we get a burst to the upside again, and then we're down again. And then, and then we get the breakout, right? Closer to the end of summer, beginning of fall. That plays very nicely into the Bitcoin dominance chart and altcoin season. So altcoin holders, it's looking like this really could be, from a timing perspective, really good timing. Again, just all speculative. Me just tracking these cycles, tracking the markets, but it's looking pretty on pace. Go to the daily chart just to break down where Bitcoin is. There's, for me, there's not much I'm waiting for other than a breakout to the upside or what happens to the downside at support. And for me, the support to the downside we've discussed is the swing low. This is ahead of the inverse head and shoulders to the neckline swing high. And it's really just a higher low area. I'd be very curious to see if Bitcoin makes its way to this area, if it holds. And we're talking about the 618 line around 62,500, the 786 line around 59,800. I mean, we can call it 60,000. That entire area, if Bitcoin falls to that area, what happens? Is there support? Because we're tracking an inverse head and shoulders, and there really would need to be support for this inverse head and shoulders to really play out. We need the right shoulder to form. Whether that happens now, whether it falls down to 59,000 and then we're bouncing, either way, we're, we're really waiting for this inverse head and shoulders, right, to see if it plays out. It's not confirmed right now. We're in the middle of a potential right shoulder. This all could fail and Bitcoin could just fall into those bull market doors that you see there, that green rectangle, right shoulder, gone, no inverse head and shoulders, no $90,000 target, at least not yet, and we have to be a bit more patient. But short term, this is really all I'm watching. Is there support there? If Bitcoin breaks the upside, is it breaking the 50-day at 66500 the 20-day at 67500 Can Bitcoin break above that area and start approaching the neckline? If Bitcoin starts moving to the upside, then things could become kind of exciting just to track a right shoulder setup. So this is what I'm watching on Bitcoin today, Saturday. I hope you're having a good weekend so far. Please hit the subscribe, hit that like. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.